There are lots of interesting things to observe about Serbia from the perspective of a Serb born in the UK. The first thing is how friendly people are here from the moment that you meet them. My mum takes full advantage of this, insisting when we visit that we take a bus journey from Sada Pazova to Belgrade so that she can chat away to her people and see how everyone's doing. When you meet someone in Serbia, after five minutes you know their whole life history and they're your best friend. You know their successes, failures, as well as their whole dating history. Things you wouldn't find out about someone in England for months. Unless you're drunk, of course. Meanwhile, while standing shoulder to shoulder in the stiflingly hot bus, someone will dare open a window and I'll feel a welcome breeze. Ah, sweet oxygen, I've missed you. It won't last two minutes before I hear Zatvarai obime promaya. Promaya is a rare and mysterious disease which only seems to plague the Serbs and which does not exist in England. They'll also insist that wet hair will give you a headache and that going barefoot will freeze your ovaries. Of course, if you do get ill, then you'll probably be served chamomile or peppermint tea. Where in England tea is a cultural institution served with milk, in Serbia tea means herbal tea. That leads us on to food, which often consists of an eclectic mix of meat, meat and more meat, with a few vegetables here and there, plus bread with every meal, not ideal for us vegetarians and vegans out there, but there's still many things to enjoy like pogacar and lepinja. As a movie lover, it's also hard to buy films in Serbia to watch. You walk down Knez Mihailova Street in Belgrade, expecting to find a DVD to enjoy on a Friday night, but it turns out everyone pirates it. On the whole though, my overwhelming feeling about Serbia is that it is a wonderful place, Vojvodina especially, and has an honesty about it that is very refreshing. <laughs>